Hey everyone, it's Terry from Waving My Wand, and I'm back with uh, Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L, guest designing again. And today I'm making some cute little uh, coffee cups out of paper. And these are for filling with little treats or putting K-cups inside. And I've used my Cricut uh, Explorer for cutting these today. And I have some photographs that you'll find on the uh, Scrapbook Adhesives blog that show um, how the uh, file was made. And I'll be sharing that file with you as well. Um, it's available for you to use if you are a Cricut Explore user. Um, what else I'm using today from Scrapbook Adhesives is their Easy Runner Grand. I've switched out my cartridge for the permanent runner, which is clear. And I'm using the 3D Foam Creative Embellishment Kit with some foiling today. And of course my trusty foam squares, and I'll be using the small squares today. So to get started, the first thing I want to show you how to do is how to assemble this paper cup. It's a one piece, and, and this file is not to be confused with the Cricut Explore uh, coffee mug. This is actually from the tags, bags, boxes, and more to cartridge. So if you have that cartridge, um, you can use the design file that I've, I'll be sharing. If you don't have that cartridge, there may be a fee for purchasing that, that file. Um, but this is from the, uh, the file called M406E7. All of that will be available on the blog. So let's get started. The first thing I did was, uh, there are two slits created right here for you. And sometimes those little slits are a little hard to get through. So I usually use my craft knife and go ahead and, you know, slice back through it just to make sure I can get my, um, my little coffee handle in there. And so we take the coffee handle that has been cut from the file, fold it in half, and we insert the lower portion first. And see, it makes it so much easier to go ahead and make sure you've cut that again. Now that I've said that, I can't get the top one through. <laughs> but yeah, pull through on the other side and that'll make it a little easier. Can you see that? To get it through. And then once it comes through, you want to just flatten it. You do not need glue. Just flatten it. Because this top portion is going to fold over and be sealed on top of it. So you really don't need any glue to hold that down. Um, and so what I want to do next is go ahead and add all of my adhesive where it belongs. Whoops, we just lost some light. Sorry, my light bulb is getting glitchy. Okay, we're going to add our adhesive. Let me show you how this is going to work. Uh, this is the top. These little ridges are going to be the bottom. So uh, I made sure when I laid my paper down on my Cricut mat that this pattern was going to line up properly. You know, you don't want it to be sideways. So make sure that you know where your bottom is and line your patterned paper accordingly. So, first thing we're going to do is add our adhesive on these little ridges. Well, yeah, I usually wait till the end, but let's just go ahead and do it. Alright, and then we want to add adhesive right here at the top of the inside. And let's see, we're also going to add some adhesive on the outside of this tab right here because this is actually going to fold over when we come around. Alright, but first let's go ahead and lay this together flat. And a little trick that I like to use when I'm using paper um, home decor that are molded into shapes like a cup is to take a little something like a round spice jar and just help shape the paper a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's shape it a little bit. 
just roll it right up. Okay, and I'm going to do this twice. Once now and once right before I'm ready to seal it. And see, it's already giving it a little bit of a curved shape. Um, I don't like to use glue on projects like this because the paper looks bumpy. I prefer the clear adhesive runner. So it just, to me, it looks so much smoother. And if you go online and look at various YouTubes on how to assemble these cups, you'll you, you see some folks using glue and the results are not as, as cohesive. So now we're going to um, go ahead and figure out where our little tab is going to go. Okay, this tab is going to fold right inside here. You see that? I'm sorry, I'm out of the shot. It folds right inside here. So what we want to do is put a little bit of adhesive here. Okay. And just to make sure it stays in good, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive right here. All right. Um, we're about ready to seal it up, so let me, let me roll it one more time with my spice jar just to make sure everything is good. Alrighty, there we go. And let's go ahead and insert our tab in here. You want to make sure it goes all the way in because if it doesn't, you're going to have a little bit of a gap. There should be no gap. And you want your edges on the bottom to line up properly. This is a little bit off center, so I'm going to move it over just a little. There we go. Okay. All right, and since we've already added our adhesive to the little tabs, we can go ahead and fold those down. All the way around. And this is so easy to put together if you know what you're doing. It takes a little bit of practice the first time or two once you get the hang of it because I've already, this is my third one now. See how quickly I'm putting it together? All right, now we're going to take one of the little circles and whichever side you want to use. This is double sided paper from Doodlebug. Um, I had to run get my paper because I couldn't remember what it was called. But it's the Doodlebug's sweet Doodlebug Design Sweet Things uh, double sided cardstock. So it has the hearts on one side and the striped paper on the other. And you probably can't see this, but I was able to get two cups out of each sheet. So that gives you an idea of uh, what how many cups you can get. So we have added the adhesive on the bottom, we've folded it over, and now we're going to just drop the um, the little circle down in there. Tap it around, make sure it sticks good to the little tabs. One little stray tab popped up. Gotta get that out of there. There we go. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. All right. And once you're done, um, if you have any excess adhesive, I'll just try to rub some of that off so it doesn't stick to the bottom of whoever you give it to, <laughs> their hand or their desk or whatever. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, it, this comes with two circles um, with, the, with this design. And you could add another circle to the bottom to reinforce it a little better. Or we'll use the flip side. But really, this is pretty enforced. It's pretty reinforced really well. It's not coming loose. Uh, can you see that? It's not. Because I'm using this. That's right. Uh, so what I thought I would do instead is make a little lid for my cup. And what I have done is added, surprise, surprise, there's a little K-cup. It fits perfectly inside. There you go. Now you could put a K-cup in here. See, I'm planning on giving out some of these to my coffee-loving friends at work. 
and I'm going to leave it on their desk for Valentine's Day. Or you could put some little candy treats in there for your friends who are not coffee drinkers. But I've taken the, um, the small uh, foam squares and I've actually double stacked them because I needed a, you know, a, a taller layer. Um, see how there's a little bit of about a half inch gap here. So this will help. And all you have to do is, I tried to line it up so my hearts looked right, you know, with the side. See how that looks? I'm not really a perfectionist, trust me. And just tap it in. There's your little lid. Um, but before I do that, I really don't want that, I don't want that to stay just yet. Uh, let me pop it back out. I have something else I want to do to personalize this. So um, I have created some little mini tags with my uh, stamp set from Sugar Pea Designs. Uh, this is the, um, I forget the name of this stamp set. It's not even on the packaging, is it? Uh, it's one, a hug and a mug, I'm not sure. Uh, what it's called, but I'll have that information for you on the blog. And also, all the product links will be added to the uh, description of the YouTube video, so you can look there for them as well. But this is just some fun little sentiments, and I picked out the one here just for you because it's so tiny, and it's perfect for these little itty-bitty tags. Um, I have a tiny little die that I'm using from this set of nesting dies from Umbrella Crafts. And this little tiny one came right here. So I thought, hey, this is perfect for um, little tags for this mini cup and uh, for little planners. If you're a planner girl, the, this little um, die would be nice for making little cute little tags for your journals and planners. But what I used was my uh, prism. And this is super handy because it's so small. And all you have to do is set it up on your little craft desk. You've got plenty of room. And I used the white die. I'm sorry, the white plate. All you do is lay down your die, your paper, which I've already cut, and then your gray plate. And you run it through. And I'm sure you don't want to see all that. So, But that's how that was done. And I won't bore you with how to roll that through because everybody knows how to run a die through a die cutter. Um, so next, uh, I didn't have a die that was larger than this. I wanted to make like a little vellum, sort of kind of look like a little tea bag. And so what I did was I took some vellum strips and I folded them in half and I put this right here on the edge, the die. So what I want to do is basically cut an outline and I, I don't want to cut this edge. So I'm just leaving that here at the very edge here and I'm just going to cut around, hold it really good and tight, don't let it uh, jiggle and just cut around the die doesn't get any easier than this. Can you see? I'm sorry. Sometimes I get so involved in what I'm doing and I'm not paying attention to being out of the shot of the camera. And there we go. Now if you wanted to, you could round off the corners a little bit. But for the sake of time, we're just going to move on. And I'm going to show you how I stamped my uh, sentiment. So, first we have, I'm going to use Memento Black dye ink, Tuxedo Black, it's my favorite. I pretty much stamp everything with this. I've already, uh, this is a new stamp set, but I've already um, seasoned my my uh, my uh, stamp. Sometimes with clear photopolymer stamps, when you use them for the first time, 
you want to just take them and rub them on your arm and that kind of you know gets the oils to work in and uh, helps your your clear stamps to ink a little better so I'm gonna stamp a little bit with an offset here like at an angle and just like so make sure I get it good all the way around I usually do this little circular thing okay perfect next I'm going to do the coffee beans stamp that came with it it's a little border and where did I lay it hang on okay found it let me zoom in a little bit for you so you can see a little better what I'm doing here how's that all right for for my coffee bean border which looks like this I'm just going to use a part of the border and I'm going to just use a brush marker that's dark brown and just swipe directly on the portion of the uh, stamp that I want to use. Okay. Now I'm going to stamp just at the very bottom of this image. I'll tell you what, since I've got some white paper here and I'm not using my little craft mat. Let me get something under here so I don't make a big mess of everything. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And I wanted to give it a little bit of sparkle. So what I did was Pulled out my Distress Stickles. This is brushed corduroy. You can use any kind of sparkly little um, glitter glue that you like. And I'm just tapping on. I don't want to completely cover up my bean design. So I'm just kind of tapping on around the top and the bottom just to give it a little bit of dimension and sparkle. I think everybody can still see that this is a coffee bean. And then next, what I did was heat it with my heat emboss tool. And it comes out looking like this. Very sparkly. Can you see? Tell you what. Um, I had some tweezers here somewhere. I know you don't want to see my ugly fingernails. <laughs> oh, me. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of hard to see the sparkle, but it's there. Okay. Um, and I've also added adhesive to the inside of this piece of vellum that's going to fold right over now. It's on the back, here and here. And we're going to just fold it over like that. Sort of looks like a little tea bag, don't you think? Okay, I'm going to let this finish drying. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Whoops, got a little blurry. Okay, um, so next what I want to do is get a piece of foam and just whatever kind of foam you have laying around. It could be a foam ball, it could be a foam um, piece of foam. Used to, this used to have some jeweled brads in it and I just kept it. And I'm going to poke a hole in the top of my tag here with my piercer. As soon as I can find it, here it is. Okay, this is my little uh, Cricut tool that I use, so I have a piercer as well, but I just keep this handy all the time for the various things. So we're just going to go ahead and poke a hole right about here. Okay, all right, that looks good. And we're going, to, sorry, out of shot again. Uh, we're going to add a little thread through that. Okay. Um, Here's my, uh, I've got some burlap string that I'm going to use. If you have a little trouble getting it through, just take your piercer and help try to push it on in. There we go. Okay. And here's our little tag. We could embellish it with some more ribbon, but I want to keep it simple. 
is I want it to look like it's a little tea bag. Although this is a coffee cup, but you get the drift. Um, and what I want to do is just uh, drop it down and have, let's see, I think maybe a little foam square on the outside to hold it in place. That would be nice. So let's do that. Okay, and then we can take a piece of um, adhesive and for the inside of the cup, adhere it to the inside. Or we could just tuck it down in there. I think it might be all right. Let's drop this down a little bit. Yeah, I think it'd be okay just to leave it tucked in, um, especially if we're going to put a lid on there. So, isn't that cute? Um, let's see. Let's add our cake cup to this one. I have more, but they're in the kitchen. All right, drop it down in there. Add our little foam lid that we made. Line it up if you're obsessive about that. Okay, and there you have it. Cute little adorable mini cup that is perfect for your K-cups, little candy treats for Valentine's, for your friends, your co-workers, your family. The breaks. I knew I forgot something. I had some little pretty foil hearts I was going to put on there that I made with my Cricut. These are made with the Creative Foam Kit. And I simply, let me show you quickly how I made those. Okay, so I, uh, I pulled out a creative foam sheet and I just cut off, um, I had done this earlier and so I didn't take video footage of the cutting of the hearts with my Cricut, but I used a basic heart shape and brought it down to half an inch in size. So all you do is peel off this top layer um, from a section of the creative foam sheets and just lay your adhesive right on top. And just rub it in really, really good. And once you've done that, you just peel it off. I think that's good. That ought to work. Yep, sure did. And uh, of course, I can go back over that little spot with it more adhesive. But then you can just run your sheets through your um, Cricut, lay it down on the mat, and. Um, or you could even use a hole punch. I have one here. Let's give it a whirl and see what, what happens. Let's see, it looks like I'm gonna have to pull this out. And, hey, I, I, I got a better idea. Let's take this little tool and bring it out. There we go. So say you can even make a little tiny foam heart with your punches. Uh, but regardless, I had um, gone ahead and cut these out. These are half inches. And I had planned to put those on the outside of my little tag. But you know what? I think I like this little punched heart even better. So I'm going to add it because it's tinier. And it looks like it's going to fit the format of this mini tag a little better. So let's just add it right here. There, the perfect accent. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure you're following me on social media at Waving My Wand. My blog is wavingmywand.blogspot.com. And um, I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook. Um, and be sure you're following Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L on their blog for all of their design team inspiration as well. So thanks for stopping by. This is Terry from Waving My Wand.